have for you um, a couple of wonderful entertainers here. Both um, have been entertaining us through this conference. Darla Daniels was at the Norquest social event last night entertaining us, and Al Crawford was one of the drummers with Kiana on Monday. So thank you so much for coming back. Yeah. Darla Daniels is from Buffalo Lake Métis Settlement. She began performing in 2003, playing at festivals, old time dances, and community events. Within five years, she began performing for crowds of thousands, sharing her love for her roots in traditional Métis fiddle, fiddle music. She is known for her lively tone, passionate compositions, and the ability to make your toes tap. And then we have Al Crawford. Al Crawford is a Cree man from the Big Stone Cree Nation. He's a recording artist with a solo album on all streaming platforms. You can find his album titled For the Children. He is also the lead singer of the drum group Red Elk, which also has a new powwow album on all streaming platforms titled The Origins, as it is their first 12 track live album. So these two musicians have come together for us today. So please give them a warm welcome.
Thank you so much. <laughs> Let me just have a conversation with myself. <laughs> wow, it's so good to be back with you guys here today. Who was here yesterday, or who was at the, the conference yesterday? Oh, everybody, okay, awesome. So good to see you again. I almost wore the same outfit. I was like, that's not wise. Let's not do that. Awesome, once again, for those of you who don't, who don't know me, my name is Darla Daniels. Um, thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. So nice to be here with you guys today. I feel like a, I feel like a pretty woman with a fiddle. Um, that first tune is uh, an original tune that I wrote back in 2012. If you hear the rhythm and the drive of the tune itself, it sounds like a Métis tune. It has the, the danceability of a Métis tune, but it also is infused with a little bit of Celtic as well. So a lot of our music is, well, pretty much all of our music is influenced by other folk music and other world music as well. So. A lot of people don't know this, but when it comes to Métis fiddle, compared to you know, folk that you, know, you see a lot of fiddle in, or even old time styles, you will see in Métis music that sometimes there is an added measure, so an added bar of music. And so what we, we do, we call that crooked. So we call the tunes crooked. And that really trips up country people. <laughs> you try to play some of these Métis tunes with an old time country band, you know, they're doing like the Merle Haggard thing. And then they're like, Darla, play a tune. And then you do, and they're like, why did you add an extra measure? I'm like, because it's cool. <laughs> it's just way cooler if you do that way. But it's awesome because our, our instrument was obviously brought over um, by the early settlers of, of Canada from Europe, so Scottish and French people, they brought the violins over. And the early Métis people started to make it their own. So where the style comes from is they took the rhythms from First Nations drums and First Nations music, they took the rhythm of that, and then they took the melodies and the scales from the European violinists. And then this awesome Métis fiddle music baby was born. So that's why it makes you want to dance, and at the same time, just kind of sit back and just let, let it wash over you and just, take it all in. It's a lot of fun. Our music is about celebration, as I said yesterday. And it's about togetherness. It's about family. It's about community. It's about people, people that we love and want to share these moments with. So um, to my right and to your left, I have a good friend, Al Crawford here. He's going to share a little bit about the tunes that he's going to play for you. And you guys are in for a treat. How about a hand for him? Hello, hello. Mic check, pension check, GST check. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to make sure this thing's on. I just want to say uh, good afternoon, good evening uh, to everybody here. A uh, big honor of mine to be invited back. I actually was here on Monday, and I was kind of saying, yeah, I was here on Monday, and the stage was really small, and it kind of dawned on me that uh, this is the last day. Um, so if you uh, were here on Monday, you would have seen me crammed in a corner over here with a big red drum and... Uh, kind of uh, trying to belt out uh, what I could with my morning voice. So, um, uh, yeah, just an honor to be here. I'm a recording artist. I have uh, a POW album now, too. Uh, drum group, cultural educator, uh, part-time comedian. My wife doesn't think I'm that funny, but I think I'm pretty funny. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just all around. Uh, I guess music has been a big part of my life uh, as a young man growing up. And uh, I've had some really awesome opportunities to, to perform uh, for the Queen's Daughter. I've been on TSN, I've been on, I've been on Sportsnet. Uh, a lot of, I find culture and, re and recreation has really uh, kind of went hand in hand for me lately. And so I'm just gonna start with a song. I don't wanna take up too much time, just like 73 minutes, if that's okay. <laughs> um, no, just a quick, quick song because we, we are sharing the time here today. This is my first collaboration and uh, just kind of like what was mentioned in the bio too. Uh, I was tapping my feet right away, and I was really feeling the music. So um, I don't know if I'll really use this mic. I can sing pretty loud. Um, but yeah, this, so this song that I'm going to sing is, is titled Thankful off of my album. So if you go on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, those types of places, you'll find um, my album titled For the Children. And I believe this is track number 10, and I recorded that about uh, three years ago. So yeah, just a very special song to me. 
Thank you, and uh, yeah, that's an original song of mine. I'll pass it back over to Darla here. So, yeah, thank you. Okay, all right. I'm being told to uh, to sing again, so uh, I better be getting a little bit more more for this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, typically we, uh, I guess, when I'm invited to sing and stuff too, I always kind of keep it relevant to what we're doing. And uh, uh, to my understanding, this is a global education conference, so I'm just going to assume that you guys talked about uh, snow globes for the last three days, so getting excited for winter and snow and all that stuff. No, but it's very important uh, work that a lot of us do. You know, we pour a lot of our heart and soul into it, and uh, I guess before doing my own thing and being self-employed uh, full-time, I guess, I do travel extensively. And um, But with that, too, I find that even the cultural education around the drum and singing and music is so relevant to everybody. We all have artists here. We all have uh, our favorite uh, genres and things like that. And so although maybe uh, you don't fully understand what's going on up here, you just see a, a chubby guy with long hair kind of hitting a drum and singing these uh, notes maybe you've never heard before. Um, it is vocables and it is there is a spiritual uh, energy to it. And there's a, a vibration too also that comes off the drum. Um, and same thing for your voice. So I always tell young people and youth uh, to be mindful of that because we all have uh, powerful voices. As you all know, we've, we've uh, sat here for three days and uh, shared a lot of good information uh, verbally. And so I'll uh, sing another song. This one's uh, titled Prayer Song off of my album also. And um, to us, every song is a prayer song um, because of the energy and the things that, that uh, I guess that we use, uh, that we articulate when we sing. Um, but I titled this one Prayer Song. It's uh, just going to have vocables. So the last one did have some words, uh, some Cree words. And uh, yeah, just hope, you, hope, hope you're enjoying the music and I'll uh, sing another one, I guess. So yeah. Hey, ah, 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 hey,
So uh, thank you again. Another uh, original song of mine. I'm going to pass it back over to Darla. Hopefully she's ready to play now. I think the, the violin is very interesting too. And uh, so yeah, I just want to give her that space again. Thank you. And uh, once again, hope you're enjoying the music. So yeah. Every time I hear the drum, I immediately think of my dad. So it's so cool to be here and blending two beautiful styles of music, two cultures together on one stage. I don't get to do this enough. So my heart is so full. So thank you guys for your, your ears and your eyes and your hearts today. And my goodness, thank you so much, Al, for joining me. OK, the next tune I'm going to play, and I think we're going to wrap it up with this one. This is commonly known as the Métis National Anthem. It's called the Red River Jig. I did play this yesterday for young Ivy that did the Red River Jig. So anyone who learned anything yesterday, feel free to get up and dance. <laughs> I'm looking at y'all. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I might, we, we're going to need your guys' help for this one. So feel free to clap along. Feel free to, uh, yeah, give us a little bit of a beat. And thanks again so much for having us. I hope you enjoy. I need the stairs anymore. <laughs> Thank you so much to Darla and Al. Thanks again. <laughs> Such a beautiful way. Well, that was just such a lovely way to wrap up today. I would love if our friends from OE Global and the Norquist planning team and the program chairs could make their way to the stage for our final farewell. This wraps up our OE Global Conference, Building a Sustainable World Through Open Education. Our themes of sustainability and braiding were built intentionally, and we were delighted to hear that these themes came through in your own sessions. You have inspired us with your support, your comments, and how you each engaged with these themes. We are filled with gratitude for all of you. Here are some comments that we collected from our Padlet over the last couple of days. There was an incredible effort by the conference team to embrace and welcome remote participants by live stream, chat, OEG Connect, sharing keynotes and sessions. I have the feeling of actually being there. Another one was buoyed by warmth and companionship. Thank you for the gift of storytelling and two-eyed seeing. Taking time to reflect is essential. And another one, we met, we bridged, and we carried. This is the end. It got me. Wow. I'm probably a bit tired. It's okay. It's all right. I just want to thank you all for being here. 
and hopefully we will see you next year in Brisbane 2024. Oi, oi, oi. 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 Oi, oi,